Hello everyone and welcome back to Larry's Fairies. We learn about animals and learn how to pronounce your teacher's name. So tom tomorrow is Earth Day, which is a which being a big celebration of our, of our planet and a, d a day to reflect on on a va various uh, pro problems that humans cause in it is is going to be be a major focus in science class. We'll have a special class on on the day tomorrow, but for today for today I wanted to get, to get through a, a related Larry's Furries feature. And so, in particular, I would like to discuss with you an a, an animal that ruthlessly reshapes ecosystems to its own end wherever it goes, doing things such as uh, damming rivers, flooding uh, forest lands, <laughs> you know, totally reshaping the environment. And so, so, what what is this species? Well, one species it could be. Of course, human beings meet this description. That, that taxonomy is is fa is fairly uninteresting. But the the only fe feature of note here is that is that primates are one of the few places in taxonomy where we use an English term rather than something that's more Latin or Greek like. But so humans could you know could fit this feature description, and we I certainly could. Spent, spent some time talking about the impacts of humans on the environment, but we'll do that tomorrow. Today, let's let's look at another species. Kingdom Animalia is an animal. Phylum Quadrata, vertebrate. Uh, class Mammalia, it's a mammal. Order, order Rodentia, another rodents, another group, another group we've seen quite a, quite a few of by now. And family Castoridae are beavers, of which there are two, two species li living, and the one that's going to be more familiar to us is Castor canadensis, the North American beaver. The other, of course, is the Eurasian beaver. Now, here's the North American beaver. What, fairly large for a rodent, uh, but the beavers in general are the second largest rodent group behind the capybaras. So 20, 29 to 35 inches long, and that's not counting the tail, which adds on another foot. <laughs> weight, ra weight range is, vi is vi very broad, anywhere from 24 to 71 pounds. Of course, our average weight is going to be somewhere in the middle of that, around, around 40s. <laughs> So beavers are herbivores, and they're very much generalist herbivores. So they do. So they do. So they don't eat any kind any kind of animal derived product. They're not omnivores. They are herbivores. But they, but they, do, but they do eat all sorts of plants. They, they eat, you know, tr you know, they they do eat trees, and not not merely uh, cutting them down for their famous uh, dam building, but they. And that's a large part of their diet in the winter. In the summer, when other plants are gr are growing, uh, their diet consists more heavily on herbaceous plants. Yeah, you know, they the the uh, more st the more stemmy uh, gr green plants as opposed to as opposed to the hard woody tree like things. And so. Beavers and the ecosystem. So beavers do change ecosystems as drastically as I advertised at the, at the beginning. They, yeah, you know, they they do build dams. Those dams make huge changes in the landscape. You know, fl you know, uh, turning turning what would, would be a stream into in potentially into a pond, potentially flooding out area whole whole areas of forest. So it's pretty, beaver effects are pretty drastic. However, for the most part, in the in, in ecology, we consider the effects of beaver activity to be positive. Biggest reason why is because the the environment has evolved has evolved to take advantage of beavers. So beavers have been a, been around about eight to twelve million years in in their modern forms. Earlier, 
you know, earliest beaver-like ancestors, go, for, you know, like double that, double that age to like twenty, to like twenty-four million years ago. Whereas human beings, you know, well, modern humans have been around for about three hundred thousand years. Yeah. If you if you count if you count uh, you know, early, earlier hum, human like creatures uh, that 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 only stretches us back to about one million, and of course uh, you, you know, uh, the the uh, period where humans have done things like drastically reshaping ecosystems with modern industrialization is only a few hundred years. So, but, so beavers have been have been around long enough that the the you know various species have been evolved to it to uh, take it to take advantage of their presence so it, so trees in be that live in be in beaver habitats have you know have evolved to be able to tolerate you know having they are having a lake a lake suddenly appear around them or to or, and to uh, regrow from a be from being a cut Cut down the way beavers do to build dams. Uh, the va various animal species have have uh, in, you know take can take advantage of uh, beaver created ponds as useful habitat, including you know, waterfowl, certain fish, yeah. uh, <laughs> birds, insects, lots of you know lots of species live. You know, live well in beaver habitat because they've been, they've evolved to do so. Whereas, you know, nothing is re has really evolved to take advantage of human human environments. Although some, or, although some some species that are more, that are more adaptable have managed to do so anyway, incidentally, including beavers. <laughs> Still, that that means that humans are when we change the the ecosystems around us it's much more likely to be for the bad where where whereas be, whereas be, the changes that be, that beavers make in 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 the local ecosystem are more are more likely to be beneficial although it's not always so especially in places where beavers are are invasive species because the uh, the uh, plants and animals around there have not evolved to take advantage of beavers and since I brought up beavers as invasive species, let's see where they live. So, of course, the North American beaver live, you know, has its native range throughout North America, mar marked, in, marked in blue on the, on the map here. Uh, this map also includes the, the Eurasian beaver marked in red. And you notice that there, there are inv invasive populations of North American beavers, both in Europe and to, and though it's harder to see in the map in in parts of in parts of South America, so no, so very notably the island of Tierra del Fuego, right at the, right at the southern tip of South America, also also in parts of the parts of the mainland around around, around the Chile, the southwest coast, basically. And so beaver, beavers live in. You know, within within this this broad have these broad distribution in freshwater ecosystems, so lakes, streams, etc. Beavers need 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 some body of water to be resident. They 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 also need trees, so so they often live in forests, but they can also live in air, in areas that are mostly grassland as long as there are some trees present, and that can include human habitats. So be, so beavers have done perfectly well living on, say, golf courses, which, which of course, are designed to include water hazards and to include some trees, although they're they're, they're mostly grass. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes also, uh, beavers live live in a, in a agricultural farming areas, which are, which are a sim similar situation. Uh, they're, yeah, you know, they're most they're mostly open fields, but they have but they have what water systems often deliberately put there for irrigation purposes, and they and they're usual there usually are some trees that are that are that are allowed to stand uh, on 
you know, on the edges of the of the fields because because of that help that helps to uh, protect the the uh, the farmland itself, and so that 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 still leaves a, a habitat that's suitable for for a beaver. So some beavers live there. And, and so with beavers, be, you know, being creatures that are capable of the handling the fairly diverse situations, they're they're reasonably flexible in habitat. They're they're very flexible in diet. As I as I said earlier, they can eat pretty much pretty much anything that's a plant. And so with and so with that, beavers do survive pretty pretty well under conditions as they are today. Yeah, there was a time when be when beavers were hunted to near extinction, most mostly by the fur trade. Or the, so, though a be beaver derived products were were, use, were used in uh, in other applications as well, uh, but but that's all, that's all in the past. Be you know, beaver hunting is no longer really significant. The fur, the fur trade is much weaker than it once was, and and so beavers have. Pretty much fully recovered. Neither of the two beaver species is consi is considered endangered, although the no the North American beaver has has, has made has made the better re recovery of the two. And as as noted, as the North American beaver has colonized some of the parts of Europe which w were originally home to the Eurasian beaver, which environmentally is not is not really a, dis a disaster because. The, the two beavers aren't that different, and so uh, and so ecosystems that it had evolved to have Eurasian beavers in it can pretty much tolerate having American beavers instead. Places where invasive beavers are a problem are in South America, where you have ecosystems that are not intended to have beavers in them. Alright, so, there, so there's the the eco ecological effects of beavers. So, sources for for this, I went, I pretty much just went Wikipedia. So, pretty, so one one thing I know when in cases where Wikipedia has multiple articles on on related topics, those those often do make make for better sources than just single articles because the different articles. Are you are usually written written by and contributed to by different authors, so when you read them carefully, you you often see that they have that they provide different different perspectives on the same body of of uh, factual information, and so in effect multiple sources. And you know, Im images are basically basically the ones that were posted to those various Wikipedia sources, <laughs> and. and so that, so that's on, that's all I have on beavers. So t tomorrow we will probably be discussing human impacts on the on the environment and and what to what to do to to improve to improve those because because the because unlike beavers the environment has not has not had the opportunity to adapt to us. We need to adapt to it. So long for now.